I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Because, High. Because, because, for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, this is a video, uh, you know, sort of like a, a, um, a add-on video. I, I saw, I believe it was a brother from Hawaii, all right, um, uh, had done a video on this. Okay, and so, you know, the spirit hit me. I wanted to go into it as well. Now, you know, just the headline alone, all right, yeah, understand that, you know, she did, you know, lose loved ones, okay, but she's not the first person in history to lose loved ones, okay? It's just, you know, this part right here is just the part that, you know, you when you when you read it, you know, it, 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 it gives off a sense of, you know, entitlement and a sense of pride, okay? And it, it lacks humility in it, okay? And especially when you when you look at it from a, a, a point of understanding, okay? So, because if 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 anybody uh, should be uh, doing the forgiven, all right, it should be the Most High, all right, and then through the precepts I have here, all right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, show that. But first, let's read this little portion right here. So it says, Vanessa Bryant says she hasn't forgiven God, following the passing of Kobe Bryant and Gigi Bryant. Now, if you are not perfect, right? That means you you've gone off. There's a there's a uh, an innumerable amount of sins. All right, that you've committed. So, what about flipping it on that, right? Because I mean, death is is a, a judgment, you know, and that's a part of life. You know, that's the order the Most High set in place. Okay. So, what if we wanna we wanna flip it and say, well, 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 what if the Most High says He hasn't forgiven you for all the wickedness you've committed? You're not you're not clean. You're not righteous. You know, <clears throat> the scriptures say that we all fall short. Okay. So how, how does one who is imperfect have the nerve to say that they can't forgive one that is perfect? You see this? But you know, what's, what's even interesting is death. All right. Death, be, although it's judgment, death, as the scriptures say, entered into the world through sin. And sin came about through the breaking of the law. Okay? But in the book of Sirach, I believe the 25th chapter, it says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Alright, so of the woman came the beginning of sin, and that's how death reigned or, or crept up into the world. And as the scriptures say, the wages of sin is death. You know, so when the time is up, time is up. So the Most High didn't do anything unrighteous, all right, in in uh, uh, bringing judgment on Kobe and his daughter. Because if the Most High says, "Hey, it's time to go," He created you so He can take you back, right? Now it says, "Prayers up." Vanessa Bryan opens up about her faith following the tragic and, unti and untimely passing of her husband and daughter. Let's look up the word "untimely." It says here, happening or done at an unsuitable time. But actually, it was timely, okay? Because the Most High deemed it to be timely, all right? Everything that happens, happens according to the will, all right, of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Not, it, the Lord doesn't work on our time. Don't get it twisted. The Lord doesn't need your forgiveness. Who the hell <laughs> said that the Lord is up there hurt because you don't want to forgive him? No, no, if Vanessa, if Vanessa Bryant doesn't forgive me, I don't know what I'll do. And the angels got to go comfort him. All right. The Most High is about to bring death and destruction upon the face of the planet Earth. You think the Most High cared about uh, 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 all those people he drowned during the time of Noah? You think he cared about them forgiving him? 
It says, uh, uh, when, when the Most High ordered Joshua, all right, along with the rest of the nation of Israel, to slay the Canaanites completely, all right, you think he was worried about whether they'd forgive him or not? Hey man, the is the nerve of people keeps it just it it, it, it reaches all time highs, man. Babylon had that Babylonian juice, all right, has gotten to people's minds. I mean, to the point where it's just hey, well, let's keep reading. Right? So it says here Vanessa posted a picture of her late daughter, um uh Guyana or Gianna. Let me just see how to pronounce that name. All right. Oh, Gianna. Okay. Gianna. Gianna. All right. Um, Gianna via her Instagram on Tuesday. You know, cause Jake. You know, they'll 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 put a certain name and you try to pronounce it as as it reads and they. You know, what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, Tyreek. You know, T A I R Y K. You know, or R Y E E K. Tyreek. You know, like that's how Jake. You know, they, so you gotta. You know, sometimes you got to look at it and see how it's pronounced. But it says, uh, it says, uh, via her daughter on, on Tuesday, she shared with fans that she isn't able to handle seeing pictures of the two without being prepared. Well, when the death and destruction comes upon the face, the face of the earth, who, 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 you know, <laughs> you ain't going to be prepared for that. The scriptures say, all right, let's get it real quick. Um. In the book of Second Ezra, I believe it's the 16th chapter. Uh, Second Ezra, chapter 16. Um, let's see. It talks about the. Um, Or maybe maybe it wasn't the sixteenth chapter. It says, uh, "Let's see, shall mourn." Apocrypha. There we go. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra, sixteen and thirty-three. It says, "The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Okay, their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers, because what destruction is going to be on every side." People are going to be dying left and right. It says, verse 34, In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. So uh, you, you're you not going to forgive the Lord then? He, I mean, people are about to start dropping dead in the masses. Okay, you think the Lord cares about your forgiveness? You haven't even repented. All right. Um. Anyway. You know, and not and not to not to speak in a in a holier than thou sense. It's just you know you you read you know statements like that. As a matter of fact, let's just read it. You know, and it just it it, it, it ticks you off because you're like, well, who the hell are you to you know what I mean? Like, as if the Most High needs your forgiveness. You know, here it is. We trying. We're seeking mercy from the Lord because we went off, and He's having mercy on us. Yeah, how will Bashem El Shai is having mercy on us, and we're seeking mercy, and you out here talking about. You can't forgive God. I, I mean, what? <laughs> so it says. Um, she shared with fans that she isn't a, uh, she isn't able to handle seeing pictures of the two without being prepared, and has to look whenever she is ready. Um, I can't look at my I can't look at photos by surprise. She wrote, "My fans and family are really go uh, good at waiting for me to mention or post pics." Hmm. A fan commented on the post and, and commended Vanessa on the way she's handling her grief. The way you handle grief is powerful. I've lost loved ones close to me and can't seem to forgive God for taking them. Well, really, it's mercy because if you if you're not of the elect and you're on the earth in the time in, in the time of Jacob's trouble, it's gonna be brutal, man. You're gonna wish you in the spirit world. All right, Kobe's chilling right now. He's in the spirit world, man. All right, he's at peace. You you got this fan talking about, I can't seem to forgive God for taking them. The fan writes, Vanessa shared, because understand that, hey, when somebody, when judgment comes upon somebody, yeah, it affects their loved ones around them, but it's also an individual thing at the same time. 
It's 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 judgment that the Lord cast on them. Now we might not know exactly why. It might not be apparent, but the Lord has his reasons. All right? And they are righteous. It says Vanessa shared or Vanessa shares that she hasn't yet forgiven God either. So now hold on. Let's let's take let's take Job for example, right? Wouldn't Job, all right, be if of if, if any of us was to say that, would it, shouldn't it be Job? Right? With the things he went through. But even as it says, with all the things he went through, he didn't sin with his lips. So let's read this. It says, um, uh, I haven't forgiven God either, she explained. Our priest said, that's okay. He can handle that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. The priest said, the priest said, that's okay. He can handle that. The most I can handle that. He, he understands. He understands you need time. You know, you don't got to forgive him. The most High doesn't care who who wants to forgive or who the, he doesn't need anybody's forgiveness. It, it, you got to twist it, my man. It's the other way around. The Most High isn't seeking our. Well, I mean, what what can you do for him? Think about it, right? What can you do? What what judgment can you cast upon the Most High? Let's look up the word forgive, right? Forgive says to give, grant, allow. So you see, when you go into the words, it's when the pride comes out because. If you're saying you haven't forgiven the Most High, that, then you're also saying that you have the, the capability to forgive the Most High, as if you're in a position to forgive the Most High. Okay? It says, remit a debt. Most High is not indebted to anybody. Pardon an offense. So the Most High committed an offense because he cast he cast a judgment upon Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Okay, he committed that, but the, the, the Most High committed an offense, right? Because the, she apparently, you know, uh, he needs to be forgiven by her, right? He needs to be forgiven by her. I said, some, please tell me. <laughs> I mean, man, you know, man, oh man. I mean, you should be grateful that you know the Most High got you alive. You know, you should be great because the Most High could just he could be like, you know what, you know, paralyze her. You know, that's it. Had to had to make our vegetable and leave it. Most I can do that. You know, do you know how scary the most I can be? So you got to be very careful in, in the things you say. All right. In the thoughts you think and in the things you say, because when you speak like that, it, it comes off as proud. Because none of us are in a position to even speak like that. We are we are seeking mercy from the Lord. And nobody has the power, the, the ability, the power to forgive them. What the Most High needs forgiveness for? If you if if you have to forgive somebody, that means that they've done, they've committed an offense, and you're pardoning them. Now, please tell me what offense the Most High has committed. What laws do the Most High have to follow? Hmm. Let's look up the word offense. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. A breach of a law. Or rule an illegal act. So now what law does the Most High have to follow? Is there a law that says the Most High can't take your loved ones from you? Because he took Ezekiel's wife from him. Told him not to mourn. So is there a law that the Most High has to follow? There is no law the Most High. He made the, law. he made the laws. Alright. He's the ultimate judge. Nobody judges the Lord. And if you can't judge the Lord, you can't pardon the Lord. You can't forgive the Lord. Because he didn't break any laws, he, he you know, he, he, so do you understand how prideful that statement actually is? This is the book of Daniel, chapter seven, uh, nine, verse seven. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee. You hear that? Righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. All right. It said, uh, let's see, let's look up this right here. Confusion. All right, it says shameful. All right, why? Because we're the ones who went off. All right, death didn't come into the world because of the Most High. It came because of us. All right, dealing on a on a on a on a lower tip. All right, because we committed an offense. 
It says, to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass, all right, that they have trespassed against thee. We trespassed against the Lord. Kobe didn't have a clean slate. His daughter, however young she might have been, didn't have a clean slate. Because there's something called reincarnation. You might have done everything you possibly could in this life, but the Lord could judge you now for something you did in your past life. Now, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. I don't, I don't believe in reincarnation. That doesn't mean it's not going to apply to you. All right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 13. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him? All right, verse 14, with whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Who did that? You know, who counseled the Lord? Who taught him, you know, how to judge? Okay, who taught him right and wrong? I mean, if you did, then then you could say, well, I, I'm going to forgive him because he he he. He committed an offense. How, how the hell do you do that? Uh, I haven't forgiven God. I haven't forgiven God yet. You should be worried about whether he's forgiven you. Has the Most High forgiven you? Did, how, about, how about we think about that? Has the Most High forgiven you? Because, see, check this out. Whether you forgive God or not has no effect on him. Whether he forgives you or not has all the effect on you. That is your life or death. Okay, so who who's whose forgiveness is really when the most I uh, uh, says, all right, the most I can say, I'm not going to forgive you or I'll forgive you because he has the power to. As a matter of fact, hold on, let's let's go to that. Uh, what's that? Romans uh, nine. OK. Um, yep. Romans nine and 15 for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. All right. The most I can do that. What power do you have to have to, to, to forgive? You know, have mercy. All right. This is the book of Job 21 and 20, uh, 22. Shall any teach the most high knowledge? Seeing he judgeth those that are high. The scriptures say that he chargeth his angels with folly. He charges his angels with folly. And the angels, are, they do exactly what the Lord tells them to do. They don't go off. But he could even find fault with an angel. How much more you? And which and the, and the angels tremble in the presence of the Lord. All right. Look at what, look at what Yahweh Shai went through. Did he go up to the spur? Oh, Lord, I can't forgive you for that. You know, uh, 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 what's his name? Abel. Look at what Abel went through. Cain slew him, right? When he went up to the, when his blood cried unto the Lord, did he go up there? Oh Lord, I can't forgive you for what you allowed Abel to do, uh, Cain to do to me. Nah, I don't know if I forgive you yet, Lord. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you gotta reincarnate me uh, in a better life. Then I think about it. <laughs> Lord, to slap your ass into into some, I don't even know, man. <laughs> you know, it's just some dark realm somewhere. You know, have you reflect on life? You know, or, or or death or whatever. Okay. Uh, moving on. This is the book of Job, chapter 36, verse 23. Who hath enjoined him his way? Or who can say thou hast wrought iniquity? Right? Who can tell the most high he's done wrong? Who can tell him he has wrought iniquity? He has, he has committed an offense. Who can do that? None. He's the perfect one. We're the imperfect. The imperfect cannot tell the perfect what the perfect has done wrong. Because the perfect doesn't do wrong. Okay? Imperfect doesn't look down at perfect. Imperfect looks up at perfect. Perfect looks down at imperfect. Do you understand the correlation? Okay? You can't... For, you can't... You don't have the power to forgive somebody that's per, is, is perfect and you're not. You cannot say... I, I don't know. I haven't forgiven my creator. It doesn't work that way. You got it mixed up. All right. You got to twist it up in your brain. You got to flip it around. You should be doing everything in your power to seek forgiveness. 
You should understand that if the most I wanted, it could have been you on that plane, that helicopter. It could have been you getting judgment. But this Babylonian mentality, all right, has 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 put our people in a, in a, in, a, in such a prideful mind, especially our women. Okay, in such a prideful mindset, all right, the Babylonianized ones, that is, to where they feel as though the little privileges Esau gives them here and the little pedestal that these simple-minded individuals give them, they think they can take that everywhere and apply it to anybody. But you're messing with the wrong one, all right? You are messing with the wrong one. See, in this society, though, oh, no, she's a woman. She's fragile. You, you, gotta, you can't touch her. That, Try taking that to the most high and see how that works out. You know, let's see how that turns out for you. Okay, so as the scriptures say, who have enjoined him his way? Or who can say thou hast wrought iniquity? Maybe we need to look at this, all right, in different translations. This is the new the new King James Version. Who who hath assigned him his way? Who has assigned the most high his way? Or who hath said you have done wrong? <laughs> Tell me, please. You know? Okay, as you can see here, it's pretty much all saying the same thing. Who can tell the Most High what to do? All right? It's, man. It says here at verse 22, I'm going to jump up. Behold, the Most High exalteth by his power, who teacheth like him. All right? It says, uh, remember thou, verse 24, remember that thou magnify his work, which men behold. Every man may see it, a uh, man may behold it afar off. Behold, the Most High is great, and we know not, we know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. All right, the Ancient of Days. Okay. So I mean, <laughs> once again, you know, they when you say things like that, it's very is there is is a very proud statement, man. All right, you're speaking very highly of yourself if you think you have the ability. To forgive the most high. You you decide. I haven't for, I, I still haven't forgiven the most high. That sounds crazy, man. Alright? That sounds very, very crazy. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. This is the last precept. It says, For finding matter of fact, hold up. Let's go up to do, 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 verse 7. Right? A new covenant. It says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been for, uh, sought for the second. Okay? Now, what did the covenant the covenant consist of? It wasn't just the rules or the laws or the conditions. It was keeping it. The covenant was the agreement. So the, if the agreement hadn't been broken, then we wouldn't have needed to uh, seek for a set, another agreement. All right now, check this out. Verse eight says uh, for finding fault with them, not with him, not with his laws. All right. Not with the deal, but with us. All right. He saith, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now, I'm not going to read through the whole thing. I just wanted to hit that point where it says for finding fault with them because we went off. All right. We are the ones who broke the, the, the covenant, which led to death. All right. We are the ones who transgressed. OK. By disobedience. So death is really a penalty all right, of our our disobedience. That's why people die. Or I, I should say that's why we die. Okay? And the Lord, all right, sent his son to come and, you know, uh, uh, give us that chance to where we can escape that cycle of death. So instead of being humble, all right, and seeking forgiveness of the Lord, if you are here making statements like this, you know, like statements about you not forgiving the most high, that sounds crazy, man. All right? And you got to be very, very careful making statements like that, man, because the Most High, at any point, he could cast judgment on you. All right? So, yeah, I'm going to end it there. All right? Lord willing, that was edifying unto the elect. All right, we got to be very careful in, you know, the things you say, how you say certain things, especially concerning the Most High and His Son. All right? Because every idle word shall be accounted for. Okay? So, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham. Rakhak Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.